it's another day and another car. Here we have the, believe it or not, not the 2017 CX-5, but this is the 16.5, 2016.5 Mazda CX-5. And as you can see, this is the Grand Touring model all wheel drive. All right, so no automatic lift gate. Ooh, that's a nice looking trunk. So I've decided to test out the trunk space immediately because I got to go to the recycling store. Yeah, that fits and take or not the not the recycling store, but I got to go to the recycle and uh, take some stuff there. All right, decent amount of room. So as you can see, I mean, this definitely looks like your typical Mazda CX-5 you see on the on the road. With the Grand Touring, you're gonna get a little bit of different trim options. Um, you got the nice like top rails there for a potential cargo carrier or anything like that. And you got this nice black plastic trim that kind of encompasses the whole line of the vehicle around the wheel wells, etc. Yeah, looks pretty good. Let's take a look at the inside here. Oh, so it's got the little buttons right on the handles. Um, so instead of motion activated it, as long as the key fob's in your pocket, you can just click that with your thumb and it'll open up. Oh yeah. Just love Mazda interior. It's got a nice sunroof here. Yeah, nice looking leather, perforated leather. It's all black, stitching is black. It's a very black interior. You got your, you got your Bose stereo system, nice little CX-5 trim here, a proper heel to toe gas pedal which is always nice to see oh man let's see what it looks like in here hey the screen that screen looks a little bit different a lot of the mazdas started to do the tablet display kind of like bmws and some mercedes one thing mazda is doing extremely well which i really like and you can see right here is this awesome oh let's turn the volume down right here so one thing I really like about Mazda is their infotainment system and their temperature and uh, cabin controls. Beautiful knobs, looks really high quality, um, has nice clicking feedback so you don't have to necessarily look down while you change the temperature. You can just kind of hear the clicking, which is very helpful when you're driving. And everything is very easy to find, very to, easy to uh, just get your temperature exactly how you want it. You got nice three setting heated seats up front. And then this is how you control your infotainment system with the home button, music button, nav button, um, favorites and back. And this will be your selecting and your volume control. So let's take a look here. So let's click the home button. So once again, here's Mazda's menu for mo the, all their infotainment systems look like this with um just the settings right here so you know you can click on your music you can go through your channel list it looks very simple it's definitely um yeah it doesn't look incredible by any stretch but it's simple and as soon as you get to know this system it's going to be very easy to get through your channels um get exactly what you want to play and the little the knob right in here is just really easy to use with this system. So I've always really enjoyed that. But other than that, I mean, uh, yeah. And your cluster here, your two, this, you got your RPM, which is nice, your speed, both in kilometers and miles. Then your trip will just be down in that little um, screen down here. And then this is the nice screen that you can change your info through. Um, so this obviously, it has adaptive cruise control, which is kind of nice. Um, you know, your, your miles per gallon, distance to empty, um, and you can usually cycle through just all the, all the goodies that you want to know while driving. Um, yeah, well, this looks good. I'm excited to drive it and we'll see how it tests. Music